The hack and slash and beat em up genres definitely seem to be on their way to having a modern renaissance, and I'm here for it. Of course, there's nothing wrong with a massive, sprawling role-playing game with tons of story, complex characters, and a wealth of resources to manage, but at the same time, it looks like the bigger studios pretty much have those types of games covered. And as I've said for a long time, there's nothing wrong with a fun, straightforward action game that respects your free time, or lack thereof. Before we begin, please consider subscribing and enabling all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's get started. The appetite for these sorts of games is as strong as it's ever been. Given that particular taste still exists in large numbers out there, it's not totally surprising to see developers of all sizes start to get back in on the action. In fact, it appears that many of the classic action games of tomorrow are being developed right now. One that is starting to gain more and more attention is Morbid Metal, a game being developed by reportedly one person who goes by the name Felix Shade on Twitter. From what you can immediately glean from Morbid Metal's one trailer available on YouTube, the game definitely has an emphasis on fast, stylish action. While we don't really have an idea of the context surrounding the main character or what they're trying to accomplish, this game does seem to be going out of its way to give us a character with an interesting look and several different styles of attack. From hand-to-hand -hand swordplay to projectile beams and even the ability to transform into a different, more android-based character complete with homing bullets and missiles, it seems that Morbid Metal is throwing just about everything but the kitchen sink at us when it comes to its combat, and it seems like it's coming together in a cohesive way. That could work really well if the final product ends up being as fun as this trailer looks. While the enemies don't seem like they're the most interesting or complex villains you've ever faced in a video game, they do seem like they're at the very least reasonably cool placeholders for whatever the main foes of this game's story will end up being. Again, the trailer doesn't show us much, so we don't have a lot to go on when it comes to enemy variety or different sorts of attacks that we'll need to contend with. But if the moveset of the main character is anything to go by, then it does seem like the developer has a good grasp on what makes fun combat and what does not. The environment is looking to be just as interesting with lots of overgrown foliage and misty sunbeams illuminating certain portions of the world, much like how it would somewhere in Central America or Mesopotamia. The game doesn't elaborate on the location, but it seems like something at least inspired by that region is at play here, and that could mean lots of interesting things for the story and the context in which the character finds themselves. Will there be some sort of blend of the past and the future like we see in Horizon Zero Dawn, for instance? Possibly, but only time will tell on that. For now, we can see that the setting will at the very least be full of gorgeous vistas and mysterious ruins that will be, if nothing else, easy on the eyes. I'm also pleased to notice some passive weather effects going on, like dynamic wind that seems to be blowing foliage around the level in real time. Kind of like something that you might see in Ghost of Tsushima, although not quite as prevalent. Even still, it speaks to the attention to detail that the single person behind the development of the game is clearly giving it, and that's a good sign for all other aspects of the game. Not to be outdone by the visuals, it does seem like the audio is being put through its paces here as well, with some interesting heavy music in the main trailer. This turned my expectations on their head a little bit. Usually you would expect this sort of setting and visual style to be accompanied by more sweeping orchestral scores. But Morbid Metal seems to want to go in a different direction, and provides an interesting juxtaposition between the sophisticated visuals and the brash soundtrack. The sound effects themselves may not be anything to write home about at the moment, but they do seem to get the job done with good sword sound effects and some reasonably punchy gunshots for the android character that certainly fit the animations well. While the other two shorter videos on this game's YouTube channel don't seem to show off as much about the game's audio that the longer main trailer does, all three videos on the channel across the board sound pretty good, so it doesn't look like the developer is slouching in the auditory departments, which again is a good sign for all aspects of the game. Games that do good audio rarely slack off in other areas. 
it's usually the other way around, with games that nail 90% of the experience but phone in the sound effects and music. It's still early to make a judgment call on this element of the game, but it does seem like they're on the right track here. Morbid Metal may very well be a ways off from now. With a game that looks as intense as this, I wouldn't be surprised if we were still at least a couple years off from seeing it officially released, even if they had a team of multiple, super talented people behind the game, but this is an even more intensive situation with the game being developed by a single person. Likely in their free time, if they haven't secured some sort of major investment. This would be totally fine with me though. I think any video game should always take all the time it needs in the oven before being released, and I have no interest in rushing it or looking into whether or not they're behind schedule. Morbid Metals should take all the time it needs to become whatever it is it seems to be wanting to be, and I highly recommend that we all keep our eye out for more development on it. It might not shake up the entire video game landscape with any brand new, super innovative concepts or extremely expensive voice actors, but it does seem like it's going to satisfy a large swath of gamers who just want to turn on a game and jump into some stylish action for a few hours after work, or maybe on the weekends. It certainly seems like the type of game for me, and if you like a little near automata with your Samurai Jack, then odds are it'll be something that you may want to keep your eye on as well. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.